Hey everyone, in today's video I'd like to show you guys some trials gameplay, uh, high level trials gameplay. I reached to level 90 today for the first time and uh, I want to show you guys just how st powerful it is and uh, how strong it is. I'll just uh, consume 25 gems to show you guys how it is. I reached here with like one attempt left and I tried to battle and then my connection got disconnected so I want a real rematch. It's the first time I've been here. Uh, the farthest I've been was to level 85. So, without further ado, let's go. I have adjusted my deck slightly a bit for this uh, level. It's very, very hard. This like the Dahlia with immunity 10 in there. So, Frost Armor 9, Magmus, uh, Frost Armor 8, Abaddon, Recycle 2, Snow Herlots. Let's see, the Snow Herald must die first. Uh, I think if the Snow Heralds come on, on, on the field, you're pretty much fucked with the Recycle tool. Uh, only way to kill her is probably Death Curse uh, that I have at the moment. I don't have any insta kill. Uh, there's the Dali with Immunity 10. I think the Spider Queen has Frost Armor 9. So in this level, pretty much every creature has a Frost Armor Immunity or maybe both. Uh, I decided to put my Balthazar in there because I needed an uh, extra uh, slot so I can get a, another creature draw. I don't mind my Recycle Hornbeast dying first because I can always revive uh, the Hornbeast with my Great Mystic. Uh, first of all, I think I have to get rid of the Immunity 10 Dahlia. Like that's the biggest obstacle. And after that, the Snow Harlot and the other Dahlia, that's a bit easier. Uh, so there's the immunity 10 Dahlia. Let's see. I put a Frost Armor Oracle because it kind of syncs up with my deck with Killer Queen. I got the Killer Queen from my guild, and I would like to thank everyone from my guild uh, for giving me the opportunity to get the Killer Queen to help out the guild, and it also helps me out in some trials. So, if you guys are curious how Killer Queen works, it pretty much puts a Grim Reaper icon on them and every time they attack they will lose 25% uh, health uh, so the enemy also has a <laughs> grim reaper it's not a big issue if you have a recycle and new birds if you're up against grim reaper uh, again the snow hull must die first it's looking pretty good compared to the other attempt that I fucked up early today. I also had a disconnect as well, but it didn't look that good. So I think I got also pretty lucky. I, I finally can dispose uh, the last Dahlia. So Dahlia is dead, Dahlia Mini 10 is dead, Snow Heart is dead. So no more recycling from him. I think I got this battle. Uh, his other cards, if I can remember correctly, were Reflin with Frost Armor 9. Uh, what else did he have? Oh, there's the Abaddon. And the Spider Queen with Frost Armor is also annoying. So I think in this level, uh, White's Death Curse is mandatory because only way to kill immune, Immunity and Frost Armor creatures is pretty much White's Death Curse and or uh, Killer Queen. But most people don't have a Killer Queen. So, yeah, I think... So they only have three cards left. I think I got this bell pretty much. So I'm just gonna speed up the battle. Yes! Let's see what I get. See, it's my first time here. What? One level, f one four star hero shot? What the fuck? This game is rigged. Oh damn it. Well, how many gems did I get for it? 25. So it kind of paid out what I paid for resetting the chance. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'm not sure if you guys like this kind of video or not. I try to keep this video fairly short in case uh, it's not your type of thing, but uh, you're free to leave any feedback on the comments. Also for the next videos, I think I will be focusing on some chambers level 4 and 5. I've read a lot of forums and, and also got quite some requests. 
that uh, some level 5 chambers are hard to beat. I admit they are pretty strong and I think I, ha I have some fairly decent strategies, not like bulletproof 100% but I think I can uh, teach you guys some decent strategies so I think I'll focus on those videos. As always thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.